for some reason or the other, we cannot do it. So we have so much this morning, so much this morning to be thankful for. Amen? So much this morning to give him praise for. Come on, church of God. Come on, Glen Devon members. Come on, come on, come on. Give up some praise this morning. Give up some praise this morning. You are in the presence of God. And we have so much. So much this morning. So much. Look at all the rain that we had days ago. And look at the sun shining out there. Look at the sun shining out there. That's so much this morning to be thankful for. And it gives me great pleasure this time to be calling on Sister Lewis, our women's minister president, to come to us with our, excuse me. I am sorry, I forget the choir is outside waiting. Yes. At this time, the choir will be coming in, the marching in, the praise team will give the marching song as the choir come in. Praise God. Please forgive me. I need your grace to make it through. All I have is you. I'm at your mercy, Lord, I'll serve you until my dying days and help others to find the way. I'm at your mercy, please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. I need your grace to make it through. All I have is you. I'm at your mercy. Lord, I'll serve you. Until my dying day. And help others to find the way. I'm at your mercy. Please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. Yeah. Lord, I need your grace to make it through. All I have is you. I'm at your mercy, Lord, I'll serve you until my dying day and help others to find the way. I'm at your mercy, please forgive me. Lord, forgive me, please forgive me. Yeah. I need your grace to make it through. All I have is you. I'm at your mercy. Lord, I'll serve you. I'm at your mercy. Please forgive. I need you to forgive, my Lord. Please. Oh, yes, Lord. I need a grace to make it through. And all I have is you. I'm at your mercy. Lord, I'll serve you until my dying day and to help others find the way. I'm at your mercy. Please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. Yeah, yeah. Lord, I need your grace to make 
it through and no. all I have is you I'm at your mercy Lord I serve you mm -hmm. until my dying days and to help others find the way I'm at your mercy Forgive me. Can we do it one more time? Lift our hands towards heaven. Forgive me. I need your forgiveness, Lord. Cause I need your grace to make. Oh, all I have is you, Lord. I'm at your mercy. Lord, I serve you. Please forgive me. Praise God. I'm at your mercy. Please forgive me. Come into our thought. This time is Sister Lois with our opening prayer. Praise the Lord. Could you please stand, everybody? Praise the Lord. We're about to go into prayer. And we have so much this morning to give God thanks for. I know that the fact that we are alive and well is blessing in itself this morning. Bless and him. God has given us the opportunity to be in his house. Can we lift our hands and just praise him this morning? Can we just worship the Lord? He is to be praised this morning. Things could have been otherwise, but God has been good to us. God has been merciful to us. God has been our provider, our healer. And this morning, we don't want to come in here with our dry self. We want to come and to worship God. He is to be lifted up this morning. We are not here to grant him a favor. It's not anything we do for God while we are here. It's because of his mercy and his grace. Can we praise the God of heaven? Can we worship the God of God? Can we lift up the King of kings? this morning. Just clap your hands and worship the true and living God. The I am that I am this morning. He was yesterday. He is today. And he will be forevermore. Church of God, praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Just open up your mouth and say something this morning to the King of Kings this morning. Hallelujah. this morning. God is worthy. He's worthy. He is worthy. We could have been dead, but he's worthy this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Let us pray. Hallelujah. 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 Rock of ages clay for me. Let me hide myself in thee. This morning, almighty God, we humbly bow in your presence. We are so grateful to you, Lord, for your mercies, for your healing power, for all that you have been doing for us. We just come this morning with our hearts open to give you thanks and praise. We thank you, almighty God, for life. We thank you for the fact that we are not on our back this morning. Nobody's feeding us this morning. Nobody's changing our clothes this morning. Nobody's taking us to the bathroom this morning. We can do it of ourselves this morning. And we give you thanks and praise, mighty God. As we come in your house this morning, nothing in our hands we bring, but we cling to the cross, humbly asking for your blessing today. Mighty God, we ask that you will pour out your 
spirit upon your people as we are gathered to worship you, God. We thank you, mighty God. We ask that you will visit Glen Devon this morning. Every person who is here, I pray for a special touch upon their lives. I pray, mighty God, that you will come by here, right here in Glen Devon, and breathe on your people. Bless your people from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. May the Holy Spirit from heaven separate us this morning. May we feel the anointing this morning. May your presence surround this place this morning and bless your people. Bless your people. I pray for healing. I pray for strength. I pray for guidance. I pray for protection upon your people this morning. I pray, Almighty God, that anything that is not of you this morning may be cast into the lake of fire. I pray, God, that your spirit will saturate your people. And as we worship you, we will worship you in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. We will call on your name because your name is worthy to be praised this morning. I pray for the choir. I pray for everyone who will be participating in the service. May you bless them and strengthen them and anoint them. I pray that as a word go forth today with power and with might, that it will find root in the hearts of your people and your people will be strengthened. Your people will feel as if they want to go on one more day. Mighty God, breathe on us this morning and let thy will be done. The blood of Jesus cleanses us. The blood of Jesus saturates us. And I pray that the blood will surround this building in the name of Jesus. Everyone will feel a touch of the blood this morning. Bless your people. Lord God, bless the blood on every head this morning and bless and anoint us. Thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for the blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for blessing your people. Thank you for anointing your people. Thank you for anointing your manservant. Thank you for anointing your people. Thank you, Lord God, for anointing us and blessing us today. We give you glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name, let the people praise God. Let the people praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue to praise the Lord. Praise him for his goodness. Praise him for his mercy. Praise him, praise him for loving us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our devotional exercise will be done by Sister Gloria Williams. Hallelujah. Just continue to praise the Lord, man. Yes, praise man. him. Praise him. Today is Women Ministry Sunday. Amen. Today is Women Ministry Sunday. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning to the saints of God. Good morning. Good morning. The morning lesson will be taken from 1 Corinthians 13, reading from verse 1 to the end. And I read thus. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. I am reading from the New King James. King James Version. Thanks. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all miseries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely, 
does not seek its own, is not provoked, provoked, thank, thank, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I become a man or a woman, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly. But then, face to face, now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. 13 and last. And now, abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. And love means charity in the other version. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, he, amen to the word of God. Hallelujah. The hymnal. The hymn song will be 198. 198. 198. 198. Okay. I'm Soft as the voice of an angel. Breathe.
the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is your heart rejoicing this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. As I've said, today is Women's Ministry Sunday. Praise God. And I have here some very, very important woman of the Bible. Sarah. Sarah will tell you that nothing is too difficult for God. Agar will tell you even in the, even in the desert, God is there. Anybody having some desert situation this morning? Hallelujah. God is there. Even in the desert, God is there. Rehab, ha ha. Rehab. God can use anyone. He can use me. He can use you. He can use anyone. Praise God. Coming up this time is Sister Brown with our welcome an announcement. Welcome her as she comes. Glory to God. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Shall we magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning? Has God been good to you this morning? You're sure God has been good to you this morning? Praise be to Almighty God. We are happy to be in the presence of the Lord this another Sunday morning. God has been good. He has been faithful and he continues to be faithful. Praise God. Can just give a wave offering to the Father this morning, to the Son, and to the blessed Holy Spirit. Praise God. We want to acknowledge our host pastor, Reverend James Lewis. We acknowledge you, sir. We also acknowledge Sister Lewis, our women's president. We acknowledge you. Our lovely women's minister choir, we acknowledge you. Our worship team, our musicians, our day's ushers, and our day's moderator, we acknowledge you. If you're visiting with us today, and you are here for the first or second time in Glendavon. We acknowledge your presence and we welcome you. We also want to acknowledge those viewing online. We want to thank you for tuning in. If it had not been for the live stream, you at home this morning would not have been experiencing what we in the sanctuary are experiencing. So we say welcome, welcome, welcome. And do feel free to type in the chat. If something touch your spirit, you can type it in the chat and let us know if you have a prayer request just the same and feel free to share the link with your families and friends. And don't forget to subscribe. To our regular members who are here with us this morning, you are looking wonderful, wonderful. Yes, I know because of the weather, some people are still washing the water is out. Some people are still washing and all of these good things. I got flooded out last week in the rain. To God be the glory. I didn't get much damage, but I am grateful for all that God continues to do in my life and in your life. All right, brethren. So do enjoy your father's house and feel blessed in the presence of the Lord today. Praise God. These are the day's announcements. Family Life Ministries continues this evening at 7 p.m. All members, please be reminded to be out. If, however, you're not going to be back for Family Life this evening and you have an offering that you want to give me, yes, my team really looks forward to that so you can see me after service. Praise the Lord. Oh, God. The month of June is Family Month. And Family Day will be on June 25th. Father's Day service will be next week, Sunday, right here at 10 a.m. I was going down in the taxi yesterday 
and I heard the taxi driver turn around and said, but we're not here about Father's Day. And it was a lot of women in the car, you know, so um, it, was a, it was a stillness. So, yes. So fathers, you are just as important as, as mothers. Without fathers, there wouldn't be mothers. So I think the fathers are the most important. You don't think so? Yeah, because if, the fa they, if there weren't any men, then no woman wouldn't they hear. Yeah. So, well, yeah, the, 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 the men are important too. So children and women, please acknowledge the men. All right? Just as how we see ourselves as important, let's value the men just the same. So we look forward to the support next week, Sunday, for the fathers. All right. So Glendevon New Testament Church Conference will be on Monday, June 19, right here at 6 p.m. All the members, please bear this in mind. Golden Orchid Meeting is tomorrow morning, right here at 10 a.m. Rally 2023. Rally 2023, right, it's fast approaching, and it's Rally of the Loving Servants. This will be on June 30th, right here, and we are asking all the members, if you don't see your name outside on the list, you automatically falls on pastor's list, all right? Yes, you automatically falls on Rev's list. So don't forget to bring him your rally quotas for rally this year. Also, don't forget to invite a friend. All right? We have our MC, who is Reverend Shane Gillett, coming. So can't afford to miss rally 2023. I know the soup should be going on the fire. I know the chicken's supposed to be frying. And pastries and all of these good stuff will be there. So don't forget to come, but carry on the money. We not trust. Carry the money come. All right, brethren? All right. And let us have a good time in rally. Combine choir rehearsal for rally 2023 is on Thursday evening at 5.30 p.m. Children's choir practice will be on Saturday at 3 p.m. Practice for the National Convention Corps will be held on June 17 and 24 here on the church grounds. And the date, the time rather, will be advised at a later date. Practice for National Convention Youth Day Choir, or the Youth Choir, is on Saturday, June 10, and 17, right here at 2 p.m. Or oh, at Montego Bay New Testament Church at 2 p.m. All right. Children's Camp and Teens Camp registration has passed, but if you still have a teen or a child that wants to go, just bear in mind that there will be an additional $500 for late registration. All right. Grange Hill New Testament invites us to their annual rally, which will be this Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. The combined core is asked to minister. And for those persons who are going and you have not yet given your names to Sister Sophia Fraser for transportation, Today is your final day to do so. All right. Cornwall Court's New Testament invites us to their annual rally. It has been rescheduled to July 18, and you'll hear which choir will be attending that time. Montego Bay New Testament invites us to their annual rally, which is also this Tuesday at 6 p.m., and the Dynamic Voices Choir is asked to render the item at Montego Bay Church. Youth Day at Convention will be July 8th. All the young adults and young people 
you are asked to come out and support the Youth Day at Convention. Levites in Praise invites us to a concert in aid of the school fees for the students of the Western Campus of the Edna Mandy College of the Visual and Performing Arts School of Music at the Sam Sharp Teachers College. The concert will be held on June 24 at 6 p.m. at the First Church of the Open Bible, Doom Street. The admission is $2,000 pre-sold and $2,500 at the gate. You have Rhonda Isabel, Adarassian, Ivan Cohen, Donny Sims, Carl Cleghorn, and Shondi Chandre Cohen. Those are the guest artists. I think this is where uh, our musicians attend. Yes, Brother Andre, yes. So he's a part of the Edna Manley College of Visual and Performing Arts School of Music. Yes, all of that. So if you can give your support, if you can't go and you can give a contribution, I'm sure Brother Andre will take the contribution and deliver it on. All right, bless the Lord. We also have United Full Gospel Church, of God presents the overflow, a worship experience. This will be held on July 29th at 6.30 p.m. at the Montego Bay Community College. We have the artist, Pastor Marsha Daniels, Tajay Walker, Junior Roberts, Rhonda Isabel, Jai Kingston, Yvonne Cohen, Cohen, Chandre Cohen, DJ Chinny, <laughs> MC Reverend Gillett, and Sanjay Morris. So the tickets are pre-sold $2,000 at the gate, $2,500, and children at the gate is $1,000. The ticket, ticket outlets are New Vision Freight Services, Shop Number 54, City Center Hall, Montego Bay, and Bogue Village Supermarket, which is at Bogue Industrial Estate. The Lord bless you for all of these concerts. Praise the Lord. Also, you can get it at Fontana Pharmacy at Fairview. Systems and Innovations on Barnet Street, B. King Auto Parts, and New Vision Shopping Center. No, shipping, sorry, praise the Lord. All right. So if you're interested in going to the overflow worship experience, this is, these are the outlets that you get the tickets pre-sold. All right, Sister Ivan Malahu is not doing well, and the church is being asked to remember her in prayer, and Brother Malahu also. Praise the Lord. Happy belated birthday greetings are going out to Sister Damelia, who celebrated her birthday yesterday and didn't tell me. Happy birthday greetings are going out to Jail. He celebrates his birthday today. That's Sister Joy Coley, grandbaby. And we have Sister Gertrude Bowen, who will be celebrating her birthday on Tuesday. I invite the praise team to come as they will sing the birthday song with us. I think Sister Myrna Birchell celebrated <laughs> hers. When was it, Sister Birchell? On Friday? Right, so belated birthday greetings to you, Sister Birchell. Yes, Sister Bucky? Yours is on Monday, but look at the June people them. Happy birthday to Sister Bucky, Bucky who will celebrate hers on Monday. Anybody else for this week? Sister, 
sister Elma Brown. When is your sister Elma? The 20, the 20 falling this week. Oh, that is for next week, Sister, Sister Brown. So remind us um, on, on Sunday next week. All right. Anybody else? Any anniversaries this week? Nobody not married in a June? Oh, my. All right. Worship team. Brother Cummings, your anniversary? Your birthday was the first, and your anniversary was the fifth. All right, so anniversary and birthday, praise the Lord. And song in one, praise the Lord. Happy birthday to you. This, this is, is your day. You know that we love you in a very special way. This is your day. Your For this week. Hate no one, no matter how much they have wronged you. Live humbly, no matter how wealthy you become. Think positively, no matter how hard life is. Give much, even if you've been given little. Forgive all, especially Amen. yourself. And never stop praying for the best for everyone. The Lord bless you. Bless you. Sister Brown, for those announcements, a bit lengthy, but nonetheless, I hope you bear them all in mind. Amen? I'm still on the woman of the Bible. Can all the men in the church put their hands together for the woman today? Today is Women's Sunday. I want all the men to put their hands together for the men, women today. Praise God. Ruth declare. Ruth declare. It's not over until God says so. Anyone here today give up or feel like giving up? Just remember what Ruth says. It's not over until God says so. Esther. Esther says God is able to transform an unworthy into a noble. Anybody here today is feeling down, feeling worthless, feeling like you're nothing? Think about Esther, what she says. God is able to transform an unworthy into a noble. Let nobody take them out and keep you down. Let nobody tell you that you cannot come to nothing. Let no one tell you that there is nothing coming good out of you or from you. Just remember that God can transform an unworthy into a noble. Elizabeth, even in her old age, even old age, even if the old age advanced, she will give birth to a great man. And we, we all know who that great man is. He was the one crying in the wilderness to prepare the way of the Lord. Praise and worship team, it's your time. We do now have a special item be done by Sister Diana Bowen and the company. Make the welcome as they come.
praise the Lord. Can you continue to help me to praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Can you lift holy hands and just Hallelujah. wave it in the atmosphere? The word to be and just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Dark is the road that lies before me. How can I find my way? Tangle the path that beckons to me. Lead me, O Lord, I pray. Mm, dark, oh yes, is the road that lies before me. How can I find my way? That beckons to me, lead me, O oh Lord, I pray. Lead me, O oh, lead me, never will I go astray. But Satan, his power, he has shown. But please stay by my side, Lord. Protect and guide me. For I dear, I dear not walk alone. Threatening uh, and, and Satan, Satan is power, he has shown. Oh, but please stay by my side, Lord. Protect and guide me. For I dear, I dear not walk. Oh, 
precious Jesus, never will I go astray. Bowen, please hold Sister Bow in hand. Lead her to the choir seat now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Lead us, Lord, till we reach our heavenly home. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am still. I am still. I am still on the woman of the Bible. I am still on the woman of the Bible before the praise team come. Mary. Mary said unto the angel, It will be done according to the word of God. Hmm? It will be done according to the word of God. The woman with the issue of blood will tell you, when all have failed, when everybody fail, when everything fail, when all my money don't spend up on the doctors them, who tell me all kind of something. Some no go so. But because they want the money. God never fails. God never fails. Hallelujah. Praise team. It's your time. Praise God. God never fails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God never fails. Glory, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus never fails. Hallelujah. He never fails. Hallelujah. No matter what's the situation, no matter the struggle, no matter the circumstances, we know this morning that we serve a God who never fails. Do I have a worshiper in the house this morning? Hallelujah. How oh, excellent, how wonderful our God is this morning because he never fails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way. Mighty long way, Lord, mighty long way.
Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, never lose his power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yay. Most of us can stand and declare as the praise team has sung the first song. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. A mighty long way. Mighty long way, my Lord. A mighty long way. Praise God. Some of us can recall our rock bottom days. Our rock bottom days. We can recall our rock bottom days. Hallelujah. Hey, when you have the piece of bread and you can't dash away, we cut off the something off of the back of it. 
We have to throw hot water in the sugar jar and shake it around and drink it. But today we can say, look where you brought me from. One shoes by your foot. No shoes are dry right now by your foot. Look where you brought me from. One clothes by your back. You have to wash it overnight. If you come at church, look where you brought me from. A mighty long way, my Lord. A mighty long way. A mighty long way. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha declare dead things can come back to life. You have some dead situation that look lifeless. But God can bring every dead situation back to life. Look where you brought me from, Father. A light, mighty long way. Hey! Darkest will tell you, God never forget a good act. He never forget a good deed you have done to your sister and your brother. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look where you brought me from. A mighty long way. A mighty long way. Ushers, please make your way. Ushers, and I'll be asking Sister Bowen to come and do the prayer for the tithes and offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Bowen, please come and do the prayer for the tithes and offering. Look where you brought us from. A mighty long way. Mighty long way. A mighty long way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Holy Ghost! 
Hallelujah. Yeah, be glorified, God. Be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Because you care And the church stand. Everybody, please stand. Uh, please stand if you can. Stand and close your eyes. Close your eyes. And if you have a praise to give God, let us give it to Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you feel the presence of the Lord in the house? Just tell the Lord what you want. Ah, he's amazing God. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence this morning. Here we are so unworthy before your throne. But thou who give grace, thou who have mercy and compassion, hear your children bring back a portion of tithes and offering into your presence. We just ask you, God, to bless it. We just ask you, God, to sanctify it. We ask you, Lord, to breathe upon it. We ask you, Lord, to bless the giver. We ask you, Lord, to bless the potential giver. We ask you, Lord, to let your name be glorified as we give in worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the blessed Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. My heart, my soul. 
Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I magnify your name. And my heart is filled with praise. Coming to us this time is our ladies' ministry choir. And after their presentation, the next voice you hear will be the voice of the man of God. God's anointing, God's humble servant. And as soon as the choir finish, please stand and receive the man of God. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Come on, lift up your hands and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, lift up your hands and shout hallelujah, everybody. Roll back the curtains of memory. Show me where you brought me from, Lord, and where I could have been. Clap your hands for Jesus this morning. Everybody, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, choir, for that wonderful song. May you continue singing for the Lord because I know that someday, if you fail not, you will receive a crown of life that will never fade away. I greet you well today. You may be seated, please. In the excellent name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, a name that is above every other name. And I love that name so much. Amen, somebody? Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. I trust and hope today that the Lord will do something wonderful in your life. I know he has spoken to you already, but I believe that he has another word for you. And I trust and hope that you will turn up your cups today and you will receive the word from the Lord in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet the moderator, I greet the praise team, I greet the officers, I greet every member, I greet Sister Lewis, I greet those who are watching via the social media today. Put your hands together, everybody, and let us just praise the Lord, because there is indeed a miracle here for you today, and I trust and hope that you will receive it. I want to say to you too that you'd have heard announced earlier that tonight will be family life ministry, but you know we are going to do a little shifting, a little change tonight, and so we are going to be having two nights of prayer tonight and tomorrow night. We will collect the family life FTA, family life ministry offering, but we are going to be doing two nights of, of prayer. Amen, church. I want everybody to come out. I'm inviting back the choir tonight to give us a selection. We are going to be having some, some prayer points that we really want to talk to God about. The praise team will be in operation. This praise team will work tonight and, and, and tomorrow night. Sister McCoy, your praise team will be in charge of the, of the service. And so we are looking forward for everybody. God has put it in our spirit to, to do it. And we, I, we seek your cooperation. It doesn't matter the rain. If it's six of us or seven of us, we are coming out this evening and tomorrow. And we are going to be praying. Is that amen, church? Is that amen, everybody? There are things that we need to pray about. Amen. When we think of the little girl whose throat was slashed and she died, Man, we have got to come together and pray. Amen, church. We have got to pray for that family. We have got to pray, and I got to understand that he was a, uh, uh, the, the, the father was a police officer. Amen. My God, it is devastating, I know, to the family. But we are trusting the Lord. Amen. And we are believing that God will do what needs to be done. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to, today to Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 through 24. It's a challenging sermon, but I have to preach it. It reads thus, that he put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Verse 24. And that he put on the new man, which after God is created 
in righteousness and true holiness. May the Lord have his blessings to the reading of his holy words. Father God, I thank you today. Thank you for this word that you have put in my spirit. And thank you, O God, for the opportunity to stand around this sacred desk. O God, to deliver this word. Without you, Lord, I am helpless. Without you, Lord, I can do nothing. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will take your words now and you will apply them to the hearts of your children. I pray when souls will be transformed and your name will be glorified. Into your hands I commend my life now and I commend the, your children and I ask your God to pour out your blessings upon us all. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. We are children of the Most High. Amen, church? And there is a life that we must live. One that will glorify the Lord. And so we are going to look today at a few things that we ought to do if we are going to live the Christian life. I know that you will not hesitate to agree with me that those who come to know Christ as their Lord and Savior will experience a, a great change in their lives. Amen? Hallelujah. Once you Hallelujah. come to know Jesus, once you are born again, then there will be changes in your life that you are going to experience. And this is confirmed in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So once a person enters into a newness of life with the Lord, then you must live a certain type away. Amen? And let me remind us, church, that the church is the body of Jesus Christ. Of such, it is, we are his representative in the world. We are his ambassadors. We speak on his behalf. We act on his behalf. Therefore, we are to reject everything that would cause corruption in our lives as we seek to represent God. Everything. Everything. Because you and I, we are representatives of Jesus Christ. And therefore, we must reject everything that will discredit or dishonor the Lord Jesus Christ. The text for consideration today is a very powerful text. There are many people who believe that one of the best scripture passages to help us live the, the Christian life or to tell us how to live the Christian life is this one. 
as Paul wrote to the Ephesians, this is what is said to them concerning how the Christians are to behave or to live. He said that he put off concerning the, the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that he put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. From these verses, we are going to discover three things that ought to be done if we are going to live the Christian life the way our God wants us to live. There are many things that we have to do or, or should do, but I will make mention of three of them today. And let me hasten to say that living the Christian life is not easy. It's a challenging thing, but it's something that must be done. Amen, somebody. And we believe that sometimes when we hear these prosperity messages, that that's what we want to, to hear sometimes. But I want to tell you, church, if you want to be prosperous, you have got to live the way God wants you to live. Because the Bible tells me that I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I've seen begging. Come on, lift your hands and praise God. So sometimes these sermons, these sermons are not what you want to hear. But these are the things that you must hear to get God's blessings upon your lives. And the first thing that we must do when we come to know Christ that we have got to put off the old man. Amen church. We have got to put off the old man and we receive the old man at birth. Amen. Put off the, the former conversation. The old man. We have got to put them off. In this context, it means the earlier way of life, their conduct, their behavior. Paul said to the church at Ephesus, you have got to learn to put away those old behaviors that you had before you gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you with me, church? That is called the old man. Amen, church. It means that you are, are at birth receive it, but it is the old way of life which we used to practice before we became Christians. Praise be to God. We have to keep on putting them off in the name of Jesus. Those things that we were born with, that Adamic nature, amen, we have to keep on Putting them off. Put them off. Let the church say put them off. Put them off. It means that you divest yourself of something. It is to take it off uh, as one takes off clothes. Lay it aside. Getting it out of the way. Get off the filthy clothes. We must refuse to let the old man manifest itself. As children of God, as people of God, sometimes we allow the old self to manifest too much. Hallelujah. But the Bible says we must put them off concerning the former conversation, the former way of living. We have to throw them aside. Hallelujah. As believers, it is important for us not to associate ourselves with the sinful practices that we were involved in before we gave our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. We can't so 
associate ourselves with them. We have to put them off. It can't be business as usual. I am a child of God. The church is the church. Put off the whole man. I can't be cursing as I used to. I can't be smoking as I used to. I can't be doing funny things. I can't go to the hobby man. Again. I am different now. Are you hearing me somebody? Come on, lift up your hands and praise God in church today. I want to, to live like God. I want to live the, the Christian life. I must put off the old man. Too many Christians are, are still in the old clothes. But I've got to take off the ragged clothes. Was set them up. The Bible says, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. That is to say, it is believed that the word corrupt here, you will scare the idea of something rotten, something wasting, something being defiled. And though I'm going to say something which is very strong right now, but every characteristic of the old man is like something that is dirty. It's like a piece of meat that is not good. I spoil. And so we have to throw it away. You don't hear me, church. Certain behavior. And I'm going to say it like how God wants me to say it. Certain behavior, they are like rotten dead meat. And you have got to throw them away. They corrupt. They are not good. And you have got to put, this, put them aside. You have got to lay them away. And don't get involved with them anymore, somebody. We have got to throw them away. These are things that make our life unhappy. Amen. We must put them aside. Every corrupt thing, dash them away. We are people of God. We are Christians. We are born again. It's not a pain a wrong time. It's not a joking time, somebody. Corrupt behavior. We must stop them. Can't be business as usual. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29 says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good, let the church say good, to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. No rotten, worthless, disgusting things shall come from our mouths. Only those things that will benefit the hearers. Sometimes it's a shame and disgrace to hear certain words that are used by Christians. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let the church be the church. Let the Christians be the Christians. Put off the old man. Put off those old behaviors. It can't work. It is not profiting you nothing. Stop it. The Bible says they are like deceitful lust. It 
includes sexual urges. This is how Jesus put it. If he, he heard that it was said by them of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say to you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, oh God, I committed adultery with her already in his heart. Just a look. Just a look. Jesus said you don't have to do the act. Because a look with intent is a dangerous look. A look with a desire. It is dangerous. Men have that look. Women have that look. The church has that look. But Jesus said, listen, be very careful. Put off the old man. Let us serve God the way our God ought to be served. All types of desires. Desire to steal. Desire to lie. To use others. To harass people. And the list goes on. Jesus, you must put them off. Hallelujah. Put them off. Let us shine for God. Somebody said the old man can grow into a strong man when we feed it by giving into our loss. Anytime we start to give into our loss, the old Adamic nature begins to grow and it grows into a strong man. Overpowers you because you keep on feeding it. And sometimes when we do sort of things, we think that we get away with them. But what really happened is that it is hardening our hearts and robbing us of God's blessings. Sometimes we do sort of things and nothing happens. And we just take it for granted and believe that everything is all oh, talk to me, somebody. And believes that everything is okay. But everything is not okay. What is happening is that it is hardening your heart. Because tomorrow you go back and do the same thing. Next week you go back and do the same thing. Talk to me somebody. Next month we go back and do the same thing. It becomes habitual. And we believe it's all right. No. The heart becomes so hardened. And many people's heart have become so hardened. Because they keep on doing the thing over and over. Every Monday night you can expect them to co-op themselves. Every Tuesday they co-op themselves. But Friday and Saturday they are as holy as they. You don't know, talk to me somebody. Hey, somebody. Lift your hands and praise God, somebody. If God comes on a Monday, many Christians are going to leave. If God comes on a Tuesday, many Christians will not make it, somebody. Hey! Put off the old man. Run away with those things because we are people of God. Lift our hands and praise him, somebody. So we have to put off the whole man. Look at your neighbor and say, put off the whole man. Tell your members, put off the whole man. Hallelujah, put off the whole man. Put off the whole behavior. Done with the whole behavior. Dash them away. Throw them away. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, somebody shout hallelujah in this place. Somebody shout glory in this place. Hallelujah. The 
must be put away. Hallelujah. The next thing that we have to do as Christians, we have to renew our minds and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. It means to be done over again or afresh to be made anew. When we accept Christ as Savior, we are renewed in the spirit of our mind. God is far interested in changing our mind more than changing our circumstances. Sometimes we want God to change our circumstances. We want God to heal us and nothing is wrong with that. But there is a thinking that God must heal. There must be a renewing of the mind. Hallelujah. When we serve God the way that we should with old mind, there must be a renewing of the mind. We can't serve God with the old mind. There must be a renewing of the mind. You don't hear me, church. Romans 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that we present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye trans be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of the Almighty God. God you must change my mind, God. Change my mind, God. Some things that we are thinking on. God said, man, the mind must be renewed. Lift up your hands and put your hand on your forehead. Say, God, touch my mind, Lord. Cleanse my mind, Lord. Cleanse my spirit, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the mind must be renewed. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord church, let me tell you something, Glenn Devon, our mind is the battlefield on which the war of our emotions, purpose, effectiveness, and fullness of life is won or lost. If your mind, it is your mind that is attacked daily by the enemy. It is your mind that the world is trying to influence for its own benefit. Satan is attacking the mind. Satan is attacking the mind. There is a battle, there is a war. Oh God, many of you are in church today, but there is a war going on mentally in the mind, in the mind, in the mind. But in the name of Jesus, I call for a renewing of the mind right now. Because, you know, as a child of God, my mind made up and I won't turn back. I want to see my Jesus someday. God needs to touch our mind because sometimes our minds become so corrupt. Our minds become so filthy. Our minds become so, so, so cast out. But in the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, somebody lift up your hands and praise God in the house. Lift up your hands and praise God in the house, somebody. Touch my mind, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Shout in the name of Jesus, somebody. Come on, lift up your hands and shout in the name of Jesus, somebody. To touch my mind, Jesus. Touch my mind to Jesus. Hallelujah. Sanctify my mind, God. Let my mind stand on thee. The Bible said the Lord will keep them in perfect peace 
Whose mind is stayed on thee. So my mind must be on Jesus. Our mind must be on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. Shout glory, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You devil from hell. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Let your power lift up your hands, church. Let your power praise God, church. Lift up your hands and praise God in Jesus' name. Let your will be done, God. Let your power rest upon him and bring healing and deliverance and victory in Jesus' name. Every condition now, we reverse them in Jesus' name and for Jesus' sake. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You old dragon, you old serpent, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, your will be done in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and praise God, somebody. The devil, the devil is a liar. And the devil will attack you. Amen, somebody. He will attack your mind. He will attack the spirit. He will do things, hallelujah, to lead you astray. He will do things to take your mind off God. But in the name of Jesus, come on, lift up your hands and shout in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and praise them again. That's what the devil wants. Hallelujah. It is your mind that the devil wants. And when he can get to your mind, hallelujah, it will disrupt your life. But we plead the blood against all the plans of the enemy. Come on, lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. Lift up your hands and shout glory somebody. That's the God that we serve. Hallelujah. Glory. Clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Now let me say this church. Oh, let me say this church. God is able. Amen to do what? More than what we are able to ask of him. Let the church shout hallelujah. There is deliverance. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on church, stand on your feet church. Stand on your feet church. Every Christian stand on your feet and, and lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah, every Christian stand on your feet and, and shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's more than able. Thank you. Hallelujah. We serve a God who gives a miracle work in God. And we pray. We pray and God deliver. Amen, church. Clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. We pray and God. God, he delivers. Amen. And so we are trusting the Lord that he will guide us and that he will protect continually. You may be seated for a few more minutes, church. Hallelujah. Physically, physically, church, you are what you eat, but spiritually, you are what you think on. Amen, somebody. And so we have got to learn to think on positive things. We have got to learn that our minds must stay on Jesus Christ. 
your thoughts are powerful and have the tremendous ability to shape your life for good or for bad. Amen, church. Your thoughts are powerful and they can shape your life for good or for bad. But in the name of Jesus, we are going to think and do good things. As Christians, our mind must be renewed. Amen. Amen. The mind must be renewed, must be made anew in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, casting down arguments and every I think that exists, hallelujah, against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of God. We are bringing down every thought today that is against the almighty God. Every thinking that is against the plan of God. We bring them down now in the name of Jesus. And we think upon the Lord Jesus Christ. The devil knew everything from me. What will have happened? And so he comes uh, to this rock. But I'm going to put my mind on Jesus. And I'm going to bring them down. Come on, church of God. Let us pull on some stuff right now. Pull on. Pull on some stuff. Uh, pull on some principalities. Pull on some powers. Pull on some darkness. Pull them down, Kendall. In the name of Jesus, we have got to pull them down. It's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. I pull on witchcraft. I pull on uncleanness. I pull on everything out of my mind right now. I pull on lying. I pull on stealing. I pull them down in the name of Jesus. What kind of church is this? It's a Holy Ghost church. What kind of church? It's a blood washed church. You have got to learn to pull on some stuff. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, church of God. You have got your church, your Christian. This is war. This is war. It's a mental war. It's a mind war. But you have got to learn to pull them down in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody pull them down now. Pull them down. Every stronghold, we pull them down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Watch this. Your thoughts don't have to be true to hurt you. You just have to believe them. Amen, somebody. Your thoughts don't have to be true to hurt you. You just have to believe them. Just believe what is coming in your mind. Hallelujah. Just believe what is coming in your mind. And see what will happen to you. It hurts you. You know many people today in all sort of things. All because they just believe certain things that comes to their mind. It's not true, you know. It's not true. They just believe it. What comes in your mind? They don't have to be true for them to hurt you. He said, you just believe it. You just believe that I don't love you. You just believe that your neighbor doesn't love you. You just believe certain things about your husband or your wife. And see what happens. When you check it out, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. You know, many of persons in church have some weird belief about you. You know what they believe about you? But God said, we are Christian. He said, we are different. 
get this thing out of your mind. Get it out of your spirit. And start believing good things about yourself. About the church. About your believer. Some people, every little thing about you is bad. Every little thing they believe about you is negative. Every little thing they believe about you is something disgusting. Some don't like when you pray. They don't like when you give devotion. Because they just believe certain things about you. Hallelujah. You don't hear me, somebody. And no matter what you do, you go. No matter what you do, they just believe it. Pull it down. Pull down, Glenn. That's where we're having two nights of prayer. Tonight and tomorrow night. We have some stuff in this church to pull down. We have some negative things in this church to pull down. And we are going to pull them down. In the name of Jesus. And that's why God said I must preach the sermon. Put off the old man. Renew your mind. Walk, walk with me. Lord God. Because I am walking with Sister what I get? Mark, Mark. Sister Mark. It doesn't mean that we are doing anything. No. Eh? Because I hug our hope. It doesn't mean that we are doing anything. No. But you have the concept. You have the concept yes. that because me walk with her, something going on. Yes. Some sex going on. on. Something negative going on. You don't hear me, church. Amen, somebody. And so we have to pull on some stuff. Yes. But hear me down. I am not saying at the same time when some people walk to, to, together, things now go on. Sometimes it will go on. But, 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 God is watching you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen. If you tell yourself your marriage won't last, it never work. If you tell yourself your marriage is not going to work, it won't work. You get up every day. And call it our world. Shut your mouth. Start to, start to believe that it is going to work. Start to believe that things are going to change. Talk to me, Glenn Devon. Start to believe that things are going to get better. Because, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Whatever you believe, you can achieve. What You become what you believe. Certain things can't work, Pastor. Why? Because I just believe say it can't work. Try it, no man. Try it, no man. Pull on those thoughts, man. Amen. If you're afraid to do something, then you won't do it. Your thoughts run your life. You may not like it, but it is true. Your thoughts run your life. No matter what them say, me not change. Your thoughts run your life. And there are many people in church, Sister Daly, Sister Cox, their thoughts are running their lives.
Oh, you know that. Me just believe it. Me just believe it. Me just believe it. Me just believe it. And their lives just going down, down, down. We can't do certain things by ourselves. We have to depend upon God. One more point and I close. He said, put off the whole man. Renew your mind. And then what we must do is put on the new man. Let the church be the new man. And that he put on the new man. Oh my God. And this was given to us at our heavenly birth. We take off the old man and now we have to put on the new man. It means we put on as garment to cause to get into a garment to clothe our dress. Dress yourself, man. Put on the new man. Start look like Christian. Start behaving like Christian. Start walking like Christian. Start living like Christian. Hallelujah. Somebody lift up your hands and praise God. Put on the new man, man. Let somebody look at you and say, yes, you are different. There is a change. There is a change. Since I came to know Jesus, since I surrender my life to Jesus, there's a great change has been wrought in my life. Since Jesus came into my heart. Change your ways, man. Put on the new man. Start walk like a Christian. Start talk like a Christian. Behave like a Christian. Love like a Christian. Put on the new man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands and praise God, church. Lift up your hands and praise God, Glenn David. It cannot be the same old, same old. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We have got to know how to walk. We have got to know how to talk. We have got to know how to behave. We have got to put on the new man. Me dress different man. Because there goes a child of God. There goes a Christian. Tired. I'm tired of seeing the Christians in the whole clothes. Tired. Tired. Newness. In God. Newness in the Holy Ghost. Newness. Oh God. Tired. I'm tired of. I'm tired. Tired of the whole clothes. I want to see some new clothes. Please stand, church. We must show ourselves holy in our dealings with others, save and unsave. Hallelujah. Whatever we do, it must be holy. Amen. New man created after the righteousness of God and the true holiness. The Bible says, be he holy, for I am holy. Say the Lord. The characteristic of God's holiness should be that also of the Christian. God won't force us to live right or to live holy. If we choose to then, he will enable us to do so. God is not going to force you or force me to live holy. No. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a free will. Free will. Hallelujah. But I'm tired of people taking God for granted. 
I'm tired of people messing around with their Christian life. I'm tired. I'm tired of it. Yes, God is a merciful God. He's also a God of judgment and a consuming fire. And I said, I don't want to walk to the church and go to hell. But if, I'm, if we are not careful, that's what is going to happen. Put off the old man. Glenn Devon, put them off. Come on, somebody shake them off now. Shake them off. Shake off the whole behavior. Tired of it, man. Five years, ten years. I'm tired. Put off the whole man. Put off the whole man. Put off the whole man. Malice, strife, wickedness. Put them on. Clothe yourself with the new man. This is the new me. Quiet members. Lay aside every weight and every sin that easily beset us. Let us run the race with patience. That is set before us. Too much weight. A lot of things need to be straightened out. A lot of things need to be done. A lot of things. But in Jesus' name today. Glendevon as I close. I love the, the shouting. I love the, the moving of the Holy Spirit upon your life. But I don't like how some of you live. I don't like how some of us live. Come on. It's not the shouting. Is the living. You pray for me this morning. Touch me again. She walk in my office this morning. And say, God, the Spirit said, I must pray for your pastor. And she never say a word else. But to lay her hand on me and pray for me. Because some old things won't drop off. Renew. Your mind, one more thing. Just start to think like a Christian. Walk like a Christian. Live like a Christian. Just change your thinking. I can't do this. How can I do this wicked act and sin against my God? You see, you must reach a place in your life whereby when you are about to to do something if a voice does not speak to you you are not in tune with God if you are about to do something wrong and a voice doesn't speak to you something is wrong you are not in touch with God and I will not take it back the moment you are about to do something wrong. The voice in you will prick you and say, no, that is wrong. But you can choose to reject that voice and do the wrong thing. And that is what is happening. 
God is talking to you. God is talking to you. God is talking to you. He's talking to you. But you are rejecting the voice and doing your own thing. Because you want to satisfy the, the self. But today, today I want God, today, tonight, and tomorrow, I want God to rewire you, to reconnect you, to reconnect you, that you can know who you are. You are wired already. Oh, God wants you to be, but you need a reconnection. Reconnect me, God. God wires you already of what he wants you to be, but you lose connection. You lose connection. You lose connection. So God, I want to renew your thinking, renew your mind that I am blessed by God. I belong to God. And God must rewire me, reconnect me. Or else I will shout. I will make nice in church every Sunday. But not connect to God. God bless you. Glenn Devon. As the Lord liveth and my soul liveth. Put off the whole man. Done with the foolishness. Done with the nonsense. Done with the bag of garbage and the rotten corrupt things. Corrupt behavior, corrupt lust, deceitful lust. And put on the new man. I can do all things. We are closing now. Those of you all sitting, please stand again. We are closing now. I can do all things through Christ. Hold somebody's hand. Please stand everybody and hold somebody's hand beside you. Hold somebody's hand. That person is going to become your prayer partner. Sister Malahu and Brother Malahu not doing well. And there may be others who are not doing well. But we want to reconnect. The whole man are bothering me. The whole man bothering me, Pastor. He's bothering me. The old flesh, the old carnal nature bother me. It is bothering me. But today, 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 hallelujah, by the grace of God, I'm going to drop them off. Holy person, son. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Spirit. the new man when I was a sinner I was disobedient I've got to be obedient to the voice of God now Come. hallelujah to Jesus and take Yes, God. The joy. Oh, Lord. You are right, Spirit, within me. I want a, a spirit that will allow me to reject sin. 
to reject uncleanness and to humble myself before God because he that humbleth himself shall be exalted but he that exalted himself shall be abased. It's for a time. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for your love, your mercies, and your grace. Thank you, Lord, for the fellowship that we are having. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We commend everything to you now. God, the old man is giving trouble to many children right now. But God, I pray today for the deliverance. I pray, God, you will give them the strength and the courage to put off the old man and his deeds, oh God, his ways. Whatever these may be, God, I pray today when we shall lay them aside and we'll begin to walk in your righteousness and holiness. There are many things, God, that are perplexing your sons and daughters right now. Bring deliverance to them, God. Bring freedom to them right now. That old man, God, we crucify them tonight. Today, in Jesus' name, we put them under your blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. All the old man and his deeds, God, we bury them today. In Jesus' name, we give them up, God. In Jesus' name, these deceitful lust, we cast them out, God, of your children right now. And we claim victory in the name of Jesus. God, we renew our mind to live for you, to walk in peace, to walk in godliness, to walk in righteousness, to behave ourselves wisely. We renew our mind, O oh God, to serve you faithfully in Jesus name God help us to put on the new man and his deeds we want to serve you Lord we want to live for your God we are tired of the whole man we want some new clothes right now righteousness holiness godliness of thine own way God sister Malahu Brother Malahu, we come to you right now. You know where they are, God. Not doing too well. Into your hands I commend them now. And I pray for a healing over their bodies right now. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, I release your healing power over them. Take full control, God. Right now, every bone Every muscle, every tissue in their bodies, I put before you right now in Jesus' name. Even, oh God, this man who was in church today in Fell Hill, we prayed for him already. He's after the doctor. We commend him, oh God, into your hands right now. God, you know the situation. You know what happened, God. Only you alone, God. Can rectify, hallelujah, can rectify the condition. In Jesus' name, overshadow him right now. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, somebody lift up your hands and shout healing. Somebody shout healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even these olive oils, God, we come into you now. We pray you will touch them. We pray you will sanctify them. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your will shall be done. As they drink these olive oil, as they use them to anoint their bodies, may they receive complete deliverance in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name 
of the Holy Ghost. I pronounce them blessed. Let the people of God shout hallelujah today. Let the people of God shout glory. church I, before you go I want you to know that God is with us and God loves us amen church and God speaks through the servant to everybody may we drop off the whole band I beg of you renew your mind start to think differently about the church your role in the church and put on the new man. Service continues tonight and tomorrow night. We ask you to come out. Let us pray together in Jesus' name. We collect the $100 march for the women's ministries. So we ask of you to, to come now. And then we pronounce the benediction. You don't have to wait long. Just walk up. It's a regular thing. You're accustomed to it. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for this offering that your children are given right now. We pray your blessings upon it. God, sanctify it, Lord. And as they give, may you give back to them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hello. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Could you please stand, everybody? Those of you who are sitting. Oh Lord. And renew. With it. Raise your hands as we sing it and as we close. Guys. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And his forth and forevermore. Shall we all say? Amen.